Sometimes I walk around to the corner to the liquor store, and I talk to those young men. I came around the corner one night about 10 o'clock, went around there to get me a Coke, and I don't know why I had my pocketbook, but I did. And uh, I knew these three young men was going to try to snatch my purse, and they weren't going to get nothing. So uh, <laughs> some change, and uh, I slowed up a little bit when they got close enough to me that they could hear me. I said, how are you young brothers doing? Well, I said, well, uh, uh, I said, well, I said, I know things are hard, things are bad. I said, but you know, I said, uh, you are going to snatch my pocketbook. I said, probably knock me down. I said, I'm an old lady. I said, knock me down, hurt me. I said, for nothing. I don't have no money. I said, then off to jail you go. Or maybe you might get somebody else's grandmother or mother and get killed. I said, think about it. Is it worth it, young brothers? Then one looked at me. He said, oh, yeah. He said, you that lady on television. And I said, and I'm also, I don't know if you know any of my grandsons or not. I said, you know, Sidney Jones, Brandon Jones. I said, I'm the grandmother. I said, I know you wouldn't want nobody to do that to your grandmother, would you? Or your mother. I said, probably your sister and your lady friend. You probably really get messed up if they mess with your lady friend. And she said, well, no, man, we weren't, we were going to do it. I said, well, don't, you don't have to say what you was going to do. I said, I kind of know what you were going to do. I said, but let this be a warning to you. You don't want this kind of life. I said, because when you do this, you go into prison. When you go to prison, you become a slave. And one young man, he says, uh, they got slaves in prison? I said, yes. He said, do they have to get out and pick cotton? I said, no, they don't pick cotton. I said, but they're slaves. Uh, I, uh, slaves? I said, yes. I said, because you can't even get yourself a drink of water unless you ask the guard. You don't eat till the guard tell you to sit down. You wear the clothing that they give you. I said, then they get paid. They make money off of you. You don't get no money, but they get some. I said, now, isn't that a slave? And I preach these sermons in the street, you know, with young people each and every day that I'm out there in the street. I talk to young people.